Hey guys, Tegan here from BlueSense Digital and today we're gonna to be going through how to create custom metrics within the Google Ads dashboard um, to analyze you know, whatever you wanna analyze. So diving straight into it, I'm in a Google Ads dashboard now and I'm in the campaign view and as you can see here, we've got all of our metrics up at the top here that you can adjust using this columns feature over here. So we've just created a preset of the columns that we like to use. But let's say for example, we wanted a different metric in here that's not normally or not within or not added into the Google Ads dashboard by default. So let's say we wanted to add CPM into this breakdown up at the top here. The first step again, go into the column section. I'm just gonna adjust my preset. So you can search for CPM. So CPM is cost per thousand impressions. And we've only got average CPM and, sorry, so just backing out for a second, for some reason it didn't add those columns in again. So I've just added those in again. And let's say if we were, or for example, we're wanting specifically CPM, not average CPM. I'm not 100% sure if those actually are the same metrics because I just use a custom metric for CPM. Anyway, regardless, we're gonna go through this process. So let's say we wanted just CPM. So to create that custom metric, come up to the top here and click custom column. Then just ensure that the actual account has been selected up at the top here. Sometimes if you have, you know, sub manager accounts and manager accounts, etc., it can cause issues with these custom metrics when other people are viewing the same dashboard. So just ensure that the clients themselves has been selected there. Then we can come and give this a name. So we'll call this CPM. Then from there, CPM is calculated or is reflected in a currency. So we're just gonna use AUD. And then from here, you can add a description if you'd like, but from here, we're gonna actually, or we're gonna create the metric itself. So CPM is calculated by the amount that is spent divided by the number of impressions multiplied by a thousand. So just for reference, CPM is cost per thousand impressions. And that is essentially how we're gonna calculate this. So we'll start with a bracket, then we'll uh, just start typing cost. Then, so cost divided by, impressions sometimes you'll have to use the abbreviation so impressions so cost divided by impressions close bracket multiplied by 1000 to get a thousand impressions so cost divided by impressions is the cost per a single impression times by a thousand would be your cpm so from there once you've put your formula in there for whatever metric you want to create hit, hit save and then as you can see that metric will pop up in this uh, column down here and then if you want to see all of your custom metrics you can just click custom columns and then you'll you'll see the metrics you've you've created so for example here i've created conversion rate cpm and aov which are not in the google ads column section by default from there just hit save or save and apply i'm just going to replace my existing column set and then as you can see we've got cpm and average cpm it does look like it's calculated in the same way but um, regardless that's how you create and add a custom metric. So hopefully that was a help. I learned something new there today. If you found this video useful and helpful, let us know in the comments. We really appreciate um, any feedback there. If you like this, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.